What's up, y'all? Advance here. So, now, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith is about to do a tell-all memoir about herself. Namely, her marriage and her relationship with Tupac. Well, I'm sorry, her friendship with Tupac. Why? We've, we've seen this already. This is like, um, this is like a, I mean, we've seen this mini series already. Just, we just put all the episodes together. This is like a, like the, the, those mini series that show that, that aired on TV. And now the studio is re-releasing it as a movie. But it's not really just a movie. It's just all of the episodes together. <laughs> oh, my God. So, bottom line is that, yeah, so even with the, at, at the shit after the, uh, the slap and everything, now I guess she feels the need to, to do damage control because the spotlight has been on her ever since this entanglement shit came about. I mean, there was some some questionable instances. Everything that led up to the slap, you know, and that's like the entanglement. What's going on with their kids? Like, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. But while we're talking about the slap, she, um, you know, Will Smith. She, she made this man look stupid and as far as I'm concerned made all of y'all look stupid too hold on I'm gonna deal with y'all in a second so the excuse that Will Smith made was that he slapped Chris Rock because he felt the, he felt the need to protect his wife right and everybody was on board with it and then uh, well not everybody like some people looked at that was like, come on, dude. Like you did that because you one, you knew you could get away with it because it's Chris Rock. Chris Rock is not gonna try to fight you. Even though he he had that reflex. But then she goes out. I think it was like a couple weeks after or a week uh, later that week or whatever. Whatever the fact, it was afterwards. Like he he did he made that speech. Everybody was, you know, it was suspect. It was kind of on the, on the, they were kind of on his side. And then she came out and said, I am a strong woman and I do not need to be defended. And left that motherfucker on an island, like by himself. Like, yo, he left, she left him on an island by himself. Like, you know, and saying that, it, just by saying that. Because now that calls his whole argument into question. So, in any case. <laughs> Furthermore, not only did she make him look like an idiot, but she made all of y'all look like an idiot too. Everybody that stood up there and cheered and said, yes, Will Smith was defending his wife and we commend him for it. You know, and... You know, everybody was, we was pretty much like, oh, no, that was some, that was some clown shit. Uh, everybody else was like, no, nah, that was some clown shit. Like, and the people that was getting in full blown arguments saying, um, you know, full blown arguments saying, no, he was defending his wife because black women need to be defended from comedy. Right. <laughs> but in any case, so. Now we're we're being given this uh, this tell all series, and even though we don't need to watch it, we as people, as human beings, we're gonna watch it because it's like watching a train wreck. Even though you know it's terrible, you already know what's gonna happen, but you can't help but to look away. You can't you can't not look away. You know, so yeah. So there's that. Uh, 
yeah, I, I'm as far as like my uh, analysis on this whole thing. Uh, Jada is wilding. Jada Jada's been wilding for a minute, and she, you know, she's hung up on Tupac, and Tupac didn't even want her. Like they dated briefly, and then they maintained a good friendship. I'm just gonna call it like I see it. You was the side piece. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you was the side piece. This dude was engaged. Like this man, and this man died. When he died, he like took that piece of her soul with him, and did it, like, cause she didn't release it. And yeah, it's 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 just it's sad. It's it's sad for real because she will never be fulfilled, and that led to the constant embarrassment. And I'm not just talking about the entanglement because that shit happens all the fucking time in Hollywood. Uh, wives stepping out on husbands, husbands stepping out on wives. But yeah, like. This, <laughs> I lost what I was about to say, but yeah, it, like it happens all the fucking time in Hollywood. Wives stepping out on husbands, husbands stepping out on wives, and like furthermore, to go and to go above and beyond and air out all of their dirty laundry on the, the Red Table Talk. Red Table Talk was probably the worst thing that happened with their with their relationship, like with their, their marriage. My thing is, if you feel the need to, to talk about stuff, don't bring us into the shit. Like, don't bring us into the shit. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't watch Red Table Talk, but like the, just by you putting it out there, that brings all of the, uh, the media and the memes into it. And then, and we see it and then we're like, yo, what the fuck? And, and then it just it, it embarrasses him further, you know. So yeah, it's, it's just not good. I mean, bottom line, what I'm trying to say is that we don't need a tell-all because we've seen we've seen everything. We, we've seen the whole life because she's had no problem putting her business out there. So yeah, like. I mean, I had issues when, like, you know, that's the reason why, you know, why their kids are the way that they are, because, you know, she hadn't allowed Will to really be a father and a man in that relationship, you know, so, like, like what, <laughs> I already know what's going, um, I already know what, what, what people are going to respond to, to this, what, if, like, imagine going to your mother at 15 and saying, hey, mom, I feel as though I should be emancipated. Man, you'll be emancipated into a coma. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but, yeah, like, no, nah, like, it's, like, not cool, yo, not cool at all. And so that, that, was, that was the case with Jaden. Like Jaden felt the need, felt comfortable enough to come to his mother and say, "Hey, mom, I feel as though I should be able to live separately from y'all." Matter of fact, not only that, I'm not going to. I don't. I feel as though that I should uh, emancipate myself from the family. I just want to be known as Jaden, not Jaden Smith, and it's like. Names are very important, especially to men. It's been that way through, you know, throughout history. You know, like, like you want to, like, you want your name to live on. Like, you know, uh, it's like when, like, a last name is very important to a man. Uh, like, it's like our lineage, our legacy. You know, and for him to say, like, yeah, I want to 
not even change it, just take it away completely. That's fucked up. Then on top of that, you have Willow, who at eight years old writes a letter to Tupac in heaven or on a desert island or whatever and begging for him to come back home and make mommy happy like yo you should be saying that to your dad you should be saying that to your dad like no no like that's not that's not cool at all you know? like, but what that tells me is that she talked about her relationship with Tupac with her daughter of eight years old. Willow never met Tupac. She wasn't even alive to meet this nigga. You know, like, and plus, on top of that, like, this nigga didn't want you. <laughs> like, yo, I have friends that if they if they passed away that I would be like sad. I would be sad, distraught. Um, I might even get emotional, but tear up a little bit. But like, you can't like, yo, it's not going to get to the point where that's just going to affect my relationship or my marriage. Like, whew. not to say that I didn't that I didn't love them. If it was even like my closest friend or like even if it was a, a friend of of the opposite sex, like let's say somebody, a friend of mine I grew up with, you know, some, like somebody I grew up with. Yeah, I'm gonna be distraught that they passed because you know, like, yeah, like, but it's not gonna get to the point where it's gonna, where it's gonna like upset my relationship, <laughs> you know, because at some point, I had to come to grips with the fact that that person is gone and they are not coming back. You know, it's like, that's where, um, and it's like, you know, it's people grieve differently, but like with her, like, yeah, like future had a, um, future had a song that came out a few, uh, a, well, I think it was about 10 years ago. It was called, uh, fuck. What was it called? What was the name of it? It was like best friends or um, I can't remember the exact name of the song, but it, it was something around the, the the hook went. I think it was, it was him and oh, my God, who was it? Was it Tamar Brax? It was either Tamar Brax or Kelly Rowland. I'm, I'm going to look it up and I'm going to find out. But the hook goes, we're going to be the best of friends. You walking out, you coming back again. You know, and hold on, I can't, man, I can't remember because we gonna be the best of friends. It's like I never, never, never end. You walking out, you coming back again. And um, I think Future even said at the end of his verse, I can't remember how it went, but he was like, he was like, you, he was like, I got your heart in my pocket. Yeah, so you know, like, yo, Pop took that bitch heart. <laughs> And he had it in her pocket, like and he had it in her pocket when when he died, yo. Know? Like, and, yeah, like, <laughs> man, come on now. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's, it's, I mean, but it's. It's comical at this point. Or you have to wonder if it's comedy at this point. Because when we seen the the shit with the entanglement, and then going further back, the shit with Jaden, uh, redefining masculinity, is like when you think of Will Smith, you like Mike. You like Mike Lowry allowed that. <laughs> Oh, man. Hitch allowed that, you know, but I don't know. Then, uh, then there was the, the alopecia shit. Uh, yeah, Jada felt so, uh, she felt so, um, 
she felt so ashamed or felt self-conscious about her um, about her hair loss. Look, let me tell you something. That ain't had nothing to do with no damn alopecia. She had like, I saw the live where she explained it after the fact. She had a line, one line that was probably, that was a little bit further up from her, um, from her hairline that 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 was uh that was messed up and that caused her to shave her whole head like listen when anytime a woman shaves her head it's empowering right that means you take whatever the fuck comes along with that shit because that's what you that's what you chose like if i like if i shave my beard and people call me baby face i gotta take that you know, like, <laughs> but no, like she, she knew what, she knew what that was all about. Furthermore, then, um, her daughter shaved her head in, in solidarity. Somebody said, somebody said Jada did that because she wanted to be closer to Tupac and Tupac was bald. Look, I think that's a stretch. That's a, that's a bit of a stretch. You're like, no, like that's a stretch. Um, Women will shave their head if it's a new beginning or if they feel as though that they are ready to, you know, that they want to strike out on something or it's, it's an empowerment move, you know? So that's basically saying, all right, hey, this is the new me. You know, like matter of fact, she did it and set it off. Remember they set it off when she had the braids and then she, um, and she cut, she cut her hair at the end. Well, she might've cut her hair cause she was running from the law, but like still it was the, the whole symbolism thing was basically saying like, new is new me you know so in any case those are, that's my thoughts on it i don't think we we don't need it we don't need a uh we don't need to tell our memoir i've seen all the episodes I've, I've i've seen all the episodes of her life and yeah we don't need it in any case those are just my thoughts i'm out